Book one of the Tattersall's October yearling sales 2015 got off to a particularly strong start. And on day one, it was six-time champion sire Galileo, who for another year stole the headlines. At one million three hundred thousand guineas here, the Galileo out of 84 in the Great Gorm winner, sir. Lot 30, a filly by the Coolmore resident out of a US Grade 1 winner AZ Warrior, was the first horse of the week to break the million guineas mark, topping the opening session at 1.3 million guineas. The filly, offered by Peter Stanley's New England stud, attracted bids from Stephen Hillen, Hugo Lasalle, David Redvers and the China Horse Club before being knocked down to MV Magnia for the session topping price. She was a very nice filly, she came from a good American family. She's very well bred, she's by Galileo, and she's very good looking, so hopefully she'll justify it. I always thought she was a, a beauty, I thought she'd make a very full price. You never know at that level of the market just how far people, people, people will go, but um, certainly we'd have been disappointed if it had been anything less than a million pounds, but you've got to, be, you've got to be happy with anything over that, it's a very significant amount of money in anybody's book. And it was Galileo again that led MV Magnia to dig deep just half an hour later when going to 1.25 million for lot 43 from the Lodge Park stud draft. The colt out of Blue Hen Mare Alluring Park is a full brother to Oaks winner was and also counts on Park Express and New Approach as other illustrious close relatives. Oh, he's a very nice horse again by Galileo. He was a very good mover. We were, we've been lucky with the family in the past, was one in Oaks and... She's very tough and hopefully this fella will be along the same path. Another family familiar to the Coolmore operation is that of Lot 24, a half-sister to Legatissimo by Australian champion Sara Redoute's Choice, who was knocked down to the same buyer for 725,000 guineas. She's a great mover, she loads of quality, so she's half as good as Legatissimo will be in good shape. The China Horse Club made its first purchase of October Book One when picking up Lot 71, a Dubawi filly from the Kordoff Stud Draft. The filly is out of Badia, the dam of listed winners Sperry and June Light. Just four lots later, Michael Wallace struck again for the China Horse Club, paying 525,000 guineas for a Shamadal colt out of Group Three winner Ballybacker Lady, a pinhook success for Oak Farm Stables. Lot 107 was a notable pinhooking success for Claremont Stud when selling for 750,000 guineas to train a Roger Varian. The only colt offered by the stud, the consigners of last year's leading two-year-old Shalar, was bought as a foal by the stud's Liam Norris for 160,000 guineas. Plenty of eyes were on the Frankel progeny on day one, as six were offered, with lot 148, a colt by Judmont's champion racehorse, proving the most coveted when selling for 750,000 guineas to trainer John Gosden. The Watership Down stud offering out of Gosden's former inmate Dar Ray Mee was signed for by Al Shakab Racing. If day one concluded with the focus on Galileo, hopes are high his most famous offspring, Frankel, can steal the show on day two.